lovely as well is the previous um, record holder coming to yeah. support you and do the swim with you. There was no ego involved at all. He was just genuinely there to, yeah. to, to, to not just cheer you on, but to help set your pace and just be a, 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 another resource, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> When I initially, I said to, to Sam, um, he's our videographer, and I give him the challenge. I mean, I threw it on the team. When I made the decision I was going to do it, I, I spoke with uh, one of our directors, Eric, and, and the general manager, and I went, right, guys, get ready for a curveball. And they were like, oh, God, what's he going to do here? And I went, <laughs> I'm doing the world record. It's happening in three weeks. So it was like, literally, we had to get everything in everything organized the whole lot um divert the team to it <laughs> but they um, loved you <laughs> yeah absolutely and i give sam the responsibility i basically said right you're going to organize it all um and then uh, i said to him i want you to reach out of the the previous world record holder and see if he'll be involved and he went well why, why is he going to do that he's, he's not going to come and help you and i went look there's a small percentage of people who who want other people to do well. And I went, if he's like me, then he might be like that. So it's worth a shot. So I want you to reach out, tell him what we're going to do. We're aiming to beat his world record. Does he want to come and, and be some sort of part? Will he help with the application? Um, because Guinness can be really challenging on, on their applications. And, and I've had failed applications uh, where we paid a lot of money because you're not writing th certain things in the application they want to see. Um, so that's why we reached out to Ian, um, and he he he, he was just uh, he was quite helpful. Um, but then on on the day when when I was in the vehicle and I got told he was going to be there for the swim, it, that uneased me a little bit because it was a little bit like, why are you just telling me that now? I'm about to go do it. And, or Ian's going to be here, by the way, and he's swimming with you. Like, hang did on, you not think of fucking telling me that? So uh, hang on, <laughs> surely who in your team? was coordinating that for you because they must have known that in advance yeah um i i don't know to be honest i, I haven't even asked the question did they not <laughs> <laughs> some a public sucking yeah. <laughs> it was just literally the morning I, I got into the vehicle and they were like oh ian's coming and i was like well, why um oh, apparently he's doing the whole swim i knew he was a strong swimmer mm -hmm. i'd never swam the last time i did 2.4 mile twice but it was broken up in one full swim, I'd only swam 3.1 mile, um, and I'm at now about to do seven. So I thought, he's probably coming here to make a point that I'm a stronger swimmer than you. Um, and I just thought, well, if you're here to help, great. But if you're here to prove a point, I'm not going to get sucked into to your crap. I'm just going to do me. I, I know what I need to do, but... Um, he he was one of the most helpful people throughout that event. Like at the end, giving me salt tablets, piercing me. Um, he was there through a section in the night where there was only me me and him on the bike. Um, wow, yeah. I didn't realise he'd been there throughout the. I knew he was back for for the run. Uh, yeah, he did. Incredible. He, he did the full seven mile swim. He did over a hundred mile on the bike, um, and I think he did something like 25, 26 mile on the run as well. <laughs>